hello guys today in this video i will basically show you how to make a file compression app where you will upload your image files video files any files and we will compress into zip file and we will archive it into zip files so we will use the node.js express for this application so you can basically see this is an interface of the application we have a choose file button and then we have a upload file so first of all we will upload the files to the node.js server using malter and then we will compress it let me show you example here this is my directory structure if you see we have basically uploads folder so here we will store all the uploaded files which will get uploaded and then we will download a zip file after compressing it so now let me select my image files let's suppose i select these five image files png files and click on upload files so what will happen you will basically see it will compress it and it will download it as a zip file you can see that so it is very much easy if you have a large file if you want to compress it into a single file zip file in order to re reduce the content you can basically compress it and you can basically see and if you see in the directory structure all the five five files have been uploaded to the server you can see in this folder we basically process it using uh, compress it using the archive module inside node.js express let me show you dependency which we are using right here and we have using a module inside our node.js which is called as archive archive is basically the module that we are actually using for actually compressing this to a zip file this is 158 weekly downloads are there this is the actual module we are using and you can go to the description guys if you want the full source code so now you can purchase it from paypal or stripe in usd or indian rupees so now let me show you how to build this application here so i will uh, stop the server and make a new directory compress files project and cd into this and open it inside vs code so this will be an empty folder guys nothing is present right here now we just need to create our package.json file empty package.json file or npm init dash y this will create an empty package.json file now we just need to install our packages which is express to actually make the backend server and archiver this is the actual package so just pause the video and simply install these two packages npmi express and archiver this these are the two packages which are required and just install and it will install these packages you will see that and now you can basically make our index.js file so this will be the starting point of the application where so first of all what we need to do inside this file we need to construct our backend express server we will require the express and make a new app of express and we will be listing it on 5000 or we can say 3000 so in the callback function we can simply say that app is listening on port 3000 and after that we can basically uh, make the public directory as static so apex uh, express dot static and here we can provide the directory name which is public so here you just need to create a directory which is called as public so here we will store our index.html file all the html file which is uh, used to construct the interface so just make index.html right here inside this and uh, we will say compress multiple files to zip file so inside this we will now be having a simple form where user will able to select multiple files and then compress it so heading we will give it file compression app and we will have a simple form right here this form will actually make a post request to this route which is slash upload method here will be a post encoding type will be multi-part form data so these are the three attributes which will be there and then we will have an input type of file where the user will select multiple files name parameter i will give this is the most important thing you need to give it a name parameter by which we will be uh, getting access to these files 
in the backend server and we will attach multiple so that user can upload multiple files so required it will be mandatory that user must select files and then we will have a button to actually uh, upload files or we can simply say compress files and this button type will be of submit so if you just uh, now restart your server just type node more index or js it will start your server on port number 3000 so if you just we are actually using this module archiver i just made a spelling mistake a r c h i v r archiver so this is the actual module we are using so almost 6 million weekly downloads are there you will see it's a very popular module and it is used to create generate zip zip files if you just reload this will be the actual interface of the application you will see that so so now we just need to make this post request in the backend server so that uh, just write here index.js we just need to make our post request so we will write here app.post slash upload so here we will first of all upload the file in the backend server now to upload it we need to create a separate folder for this which is uploads so here we will upload all the files which will get uploaded in the server in this uploads directory so what we need to do is that we now need to inside this uh, we need to configure Malter as well. So just install the Malter library as well, npm i Malter. So this will install this uh, Malter package. So we just need to require this Malter package at the very top. So now we just need to require it. And after requiring it, we will basically configure this Malter package. Now to configure it, we will instantiate its uh, constructor and basically pass the destination directory. Wherever you will store your, we will pass the uploads directory, that's all. So here we will actually store all the uploaded files. We are providing it inside destination par parameter. This is our middleware which is ready. Now we can simply, in after this we can use upload.array to actually upload multiple files. And here we need to give it the name parameter that we given in the index.html file if you see. Same name parameter we need to give here. So we are giving this name parameter. After this, we just need to, we will get access to the files, request.files. And now we can actually create a zip file, compress it. And now to create the zip file, we need to uh, just our module which are archiver require that module that we installed require archiver so we are basically requiring that module and now to compress the file we will actually name our file which is result.zip or we can dynamically give it a name every time dynamic, dynamic name will be generated like this uh, file.zip that's all so every time this date dot now will be dynamic. So every time unique file name will be generated, unique output file name. So now to generate this, we will simply output fs dot create write stream. We also need to require the built-in fs module in Node.js. So require it fs. This contains a method to actually write the file, create write stream. And here you will pass the zip, zip name like this. And then now to generate the zip file, we will use this module archiver. And here it takes either tar files or zip files. We can even generate tar files as well. We will pass a zip and then we need to provide the zip, zlib, the level of compression. So it takes a level parameter. I will provide it to 9. You can provide any any value. It said basically it sets the compression level of the compression. It totally depends upon you how you need to do that. After you do this, it also contains this output on method. So whenever it's close, 
we need to simply download the file so now to download that we can simply say response.download zip name so that's all that we need to do guys inside this archiver zip and output close and now we just need to if any sort of error take place we can attach events as well the various events are there close data so if any sort of error take place in compressing the files we can simply here throw that error throw error if no error take place we just need to start the files so we need to simply add the file to the zip file so now to add that we will simply use the for each loop for each file we, we will basically add this to the archive this module contains a method called as append it will append each file to the actual compression zip file we will you read the file using create read stream and we read the path that is a file dot path and the second parameter will be the actual name name of the file that needs to be so we will get the original name by using file dot original name so we will add this to the zip file and then we also need to archive dot we just need to write archive dot pipe we will pipe the result to the output file path that we constructed you can see output file path we constructed so whatever is the result right here we will simply pipe it to the actual output file and lastly we just need to finalize this so we can simply call archive dot finalize that will complete the operation of compression so that's all guys if you refresh your browser and try to upload files here select files multiple files just restart the server so select multiple files here let's suppose i select these files 11 files compress you will see it will be compressed into a single file zip file and if you open this all the image files will be present right here so you can just share this to any of your folder so it's very useful utility guys many your times you need to compress files into a simple file zip file and uh, if you want to deploy your files to hosting then it's necessary that you compress it to, into a single file we can even compress it to a different format let's suppose tar files if you can refresh here just select here so now it will compress it to a zip file you can change you just need to change the file name here just tar so you can see all the compression file types and depending upon that so you can see tar files if you open it winrar you can use this software as well winrar to actually open that so you can see that so in this way you can actually compress files to a single file in node.js express using this module thank you very much all the source code is given in the description of the video and i will be seeing you in the next video